Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of dependent and independent variables. This is standard 6.6a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 28 off the 2018 release star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a graph here and it shows us the cost for renting a surfboard. And so we have the time of hours as our x-axis and then the cost and it makes sense that as the hours increase so, do, uh, so does the cost or so do the dollars. And so we need to, our only clue here is this word independent. And there's no definition for what independent values or, or independent variables are. That's just something that as a sixth grader you have to know going into the star test. So what's the difference between a, a dependent and an independent? Well let's show the relationship here. So an independent variable is one that stands alone. So think of this independent. If a child is said to be independent that means they don't need any help. They can do things on their own. And the independent is what starts it. So I'm going to put starts right here. And then a dependent variable changes based on the independent variable. So this is kind of where we finish. When we're looking at how to calculate something, we start with our independent, figure that out, and then that's going to change our dependent variable. So let's take a look at our values that we have here. So we've got our x, which is our hours. I'll just put time right here. And we've got our y, which is our cost. So it looks like our time is pretty simple. It's just going to go up by ones. They're just showing you the cost. One hour is two, three, four, five, and then six. And then the cost, let's see, that first one is a little bit kind of difficult. Let's look at that second one. That's 15. Third one is a little bit difficult, but then we've got at 30 right there and that last one is 45 so it looks like it's going up by 15s every other so half of 15 there we go that's going to be 750 that's going to be 2250 and we could put a 0.00 on this so it looks kind of even uh, 3750 all right so it looks like it's going to be about seven dollars an hour 750 an hour is what it looks like but which of these is going to be our dependent and which of these is going to be our independent? Well, imagine you're going into a surfboard store and you ask, how much does it cost to rent a surfboard? And that's just a, think of that, that scenario, does it cost to rent a surfboard? The person who works behind there, is he going to say, well, how much money do you have? No, that doesn't make much sense. He wouldn't ask you how much money he you have. He would say, well, it depends on you know how long. Or they might, or he might say, seven fifty per hour. Because it depends on how long you want to rent it. If you're going to rent it for one hour, it's going to cost you seven fifty. If you want to rent it for four hours, it's going to cost you. 30 bucks. So the cost changes based on how long you're going to rent it. And did you notice that the answer to this question, how much does it cost to rent the surfboard, both answers had to do with time. He might ask, the worker might ask, how long are you going to rent it? So that's going to go back to our time. Or he might say, well, it's 750 per hour. And this per hour means it changes based on the hour. So guess what? That means that our independent variable is going to be our time. That's the one that stands alone and really starts our conversation. So that's going to be our j. Our dependent variable is going to be the cost. The cost changes based on how long you rent the surfboard. Those answers are going to be be right here is H, so that's at least a good guess in H, F, and G. These are just random numbers, they make no sense. The answer is J.